One of the beauties of having business continuity plan in place is that if a business is affected and it can recover quickly, then the economy of the island is better for it. At the end of the day, that's really the gain. A community recovering because businesses have written a plan that has in, really been incorporated in local uh, community plans that the government may be uh, taking the lead role in. Teaming up with Tropical Shipping, the Department of Disaster Management hosted its first series of workshops for 2010, focusing on how businesses should prepare, plan, and recover from a disaster, and stressed that developing a culture of preparedness was top priority. Well, you know, Tropical, going back some uh, 15 years ago, um, saw the real need and the role that we could play in disaster recovery. It, it became not only a business decision, but it kind of became a commitment that we felt we had as a first responder in restoring the supply chain. Um, I looked at a, a number of the hazards that potentially can affect the Turks and Caicos Islands with the view for businesses specific, specifically to know where they can help out in a response and preparedness as well as to have themselves prepared via using or the writing and testing of a business continuity plan because what we don't want to happen is businesses to be out of out of services or, or can't serve the public for any length of time or any more time than they would have to be. Targeting the first response services, supply businesses and government agencies Tropical shipping and disaster management officials encourage businesses to plan and communicate with suppliers and customers. Air Ambulance Service Provider Trinity said this is something they have already put in place with the Turks and Caicos government. Well, the, one of the reasons that we're here is to develop partnerships, and the goal is to develop partnerships not only with the destinations, but with the businesses and the government entities. So we can, you know, so once the plan is in place and all the entities are aware of you know how that plan will be executed we will be notified this way we know who to contact in an, in the event of an emergency we were the first civilian aircraft air ambulance in Haiti after the earthquake we were called by the department of defense the US government and the naval hospital and we we're the only ones that got in so quickly and were able to get in we evacuated 15 people Baptist health officials said that their preparation has been key in responding to different Caribbean disasters. The people from Turks and Caicos are like our family. And we want to be able to respond to people like Dorothy Clark and the others that after hurricane and the need, for example, medical supplies, we can send that. If they want generators, whatever they want, if it's tarpaulin. Like la two years ago when they had Ike, we sent counselors who came afterwards and counseled like the children and people who were traumatized. So those are the kind of things, tangible things that we want to be able to do. And really it's to better prepare the islands to, to handle these types of incidents. What we've realized is, is the more we prepare and plan and mitigate and harden our, our infrastructure, <coughs> the better we're able to respond effectively with the limited amount of resources as well as uh, recover. Recovery is a, is a key in, in these, uh, these types of incidents. For WIV4 News, I'm Jody Harvey.